Okay, I'm Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, and The Lonesome Crown. Today I'm going to be reviewing People of the Raven by W. Michael Gear and Kathleen O'Neill Gear. Now, I have been following these two writers, their science fiction careers, since the early 90s. You know, I've got all of Michael Gear's science fiction books. I've got Kathleen O'Neill Gear's science fiction books. All published by Daw. They are fantastic science fiction books. And I've met these guys. I've got the book signed. You know, I always show you the signed books whenever I get, whenever I meet my favorite authors and I get my book signed. I, I show them off here on the channel. So here's the Michael Gear ones. So they write their science fiction books separately. However, when they do their People of the Raven, People of the Wolf series, their Native American ancient history series. You can see here there's all the people books, you know. People of the Wolf, People of the Fire, People of the Earth, People of the River. I don't know if you can see those. But they've done a ton of them, and they collaborate on, the, on that series. Never read any of them. Never read any of them. In fact, the last book signing I went to where I, where I talked to these guys was in 2004, and they were mentioning this very book that they were working on. So I thought, I, if I'm going to start on one of the books, I'm going to start on this book. You know, People of the Raven. It's about Native Americans from 9,000 years ago. But let's look at the cover. We always look at the covers. I mean, this is a great cover painting by Louis, Louis Royot. Louis Royot did a lot of the fantasy paintings back in the 80s and 90s. He's a great cover artist. Take a look at this great Native American scene, but what do you notice that's different here? We've got this Native American man, and then we've got this Irish, beautiful Irish red-haired girl, a Caucasian girl, 9,000 years ago in America? Well, how did that happen? So when I went to their book signing in Salt Lake City in 2004, they were talking about working on this book, about how they were working on a book about Caucasian people that actually lived in the Americas 9,000 years ago. Now that doesn't jive with the history you've been taught, right? The history you've been taught is the Native American people migrated from, uh, you know, Siberia, from, you know, China, Siberia, up through the Alaskan Peninsula, and then down into, you know, Canada, America, South America, clear down to the tip of Argentina, right? That's what you've, that's what you've heard. And there were, no, there were no white people until the Vikings came over, you know, or the Christopher Columbus came over. Well, no, that's not true. That's not true. This book is unique in that it is about the Caucasian people that were known to live on the American continent 9,000 years ago. How do we know that Caucasian people lived on the American continent 9,000 years ago? Well, we didn't know that for the longest time until... I can't remember what the date was. Uh, maybe in the mid-90s, uh, there was an archaeologist who found a corpse on the Columbia River in the Washington, Oregon area, right? He found it on the shores of the... And then they did some research on it. They found that it was 9,000 years old. And they found out that it was a Caucasian person. And so this set off a firestorm. People were like, wait... You know, and then, it, I mean, it was a big news in the uh, scientific community. So there was all sorts of speculation, all sorts of this and that. Uh, sh and, and to the world's shame, the, the site was never excavated. For whatever reasons, the site wasn't excavated for more artifacts to, to sort of, to, for more evidence to uh, give us that we could figure out where this guy came from, why he was here, and how a Caucasian person was found. The 9,000-year-old Caucasian corpse was found along the banks of the Columbia River. The, 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 the excavation site was destroyed. And then the Native Amer every Native American tribe was like, no, this, this, is, this is our property, this is our property. The Catholic Church was like, no, it's ours. So then a lot, a lot of legal battles over this corpse came into play. The corpse was named the Kennewick Man. Maybe some of you have heard that, the Kennewick Man. That's what the name of the corpse was. You can Google it. You can read the whole history of it. Kennewick Man. First evidence of Caucasian people in the Americas ever. And so, you know, 
the Gears decided they would write their um, uh, fictional account of maybe what, what, what was going on back then. You know, back then, you know, 9,000 years ago, it wasn't that soon. I mean, it was soon after the Ice Age. I mean, there was, the, the, you know, the, there was Mastodons, you know, there were the things like this. We're, we're, we're slowly dying out. The Native Americans at the time, it was a pretty crude existence, you know, just barely, barely getting by. And so this, this book starts out with a Native American tribe living in the Sandy, I think it's called the Sandy, Sandy Creek Village. And their leader is Rain Bear. And Rain Bear's just doing his normal thing, you know, with his tribe trying to survive. And then in comes this red-haired girl. So we've got Rain Bear, who's Native American, and then in comes this red-haired stranger with pale skin. And he's like, well, this is odd. You're different looking than the rest of us. And she's like, yes, I am a sl an escaped slave from my clan, kept me as a slave, and I just escaped. And they're chasing me, and they also all look like me. They are also all pale, pale of skin, this, that, and the other. And so now Rain Bear has to decide, okay, these people, we, I want to protect this girl, but I don't want my village to be attacked by these pale-faced, you know, demons, as so they're calling them. And so do we flee or do we fight? And that's kind of the setup of this story. Each one of these pe people of the, um, this is the first, it's the first, I mean, I've read their sci-fi stuff. Magnificent writers. This, this is, this is bloody good fun stuff. I mean, if you want to read, and so what I've decided is, I enjoyed this one so much that they've got about 20 of them, and I'm probably going to go ahead and buy the rest of the series, 20 some odd People of the Earth books. And I'm going to um, slowly buy them and read them and review them for the channel. Um, the actual, the actual um, official title for the series is the first North Americans series. The first North Americans series. I read People of the Raven. They're all standalone novels, as far as I can tell. And um, I'm going to go ahead and start buying them and collecting them. So go with the rest of my Kathleen O'Neill and gear and my W. Michael gear collection. Because I thought this was bloody good fun. Not only that, but I mean, both of their science fiction writings are very R-rated, very gritty, very, you know, bloody. And, uh, you know, and, and, and the same thing follows. The same thing follows. I mean, these people were living in a grim time. You do not want to be living in North American continent 9,000 years ago because it was not a pretty place. I mean, it was full of a lot of dark superstitions. And they, and they really capture a lot of that here, a lot of the dark superstitions that these people had. and A lot of the ways, you know, that they used to torture each other. I was like reading some of this and going, oh my gosh, I, I, didn't, know you could, I didn't know you could torture someone like that. Boil rocks, get them, I put rocks in the, this is one of the ones that really got me, was they put the rocks in the fire, they slid open someone's belly, and then they put those hot glowing rocks inside their guts as they lived and sewed them back up. Oh my Lord. Oh my Lord. I wouldn't want that. I don't want, I don't want boiling lava hot rocks sewn into my chest cavity. But man, I mean, these guys research their stuff. Every I, I have faith these guys are um, professional PhD uh, researchers of, of Native American history. I know that their history is spot on. I've talked to them about it. It's been years ago, but I've talked to them about it. They know what they're talking about. They know what they're writing. This thing was great. If you want a great history lesson in just... 9,000 years ago, Native American um, history and what things might have been like living in the Pacific Northwest at that time. And even a surprising cameo by some Caucasian people. A great, great book. Great book. I really liked this. I really liked it. I really liked it. Now, I think I like the sci-fi stuff a little bit more, but that doesn't mean that this stuff is bad. This stuff is fantastic. I give this a good 8.5 out of 10. For People of the Raven, the first ever 
what's it called? History of the, uh, I can't remember the title. The first ever, my first ever read of the first Native Americans series, People of the Raven. Great job. 8.5 out of 10.